Hello, my name's Don D. Uh, I'm a user of uh, Serif Web Plus, and you'll find me on the Web Plus forum on the serif.com site. In this tutorial, we're going to look at light boxes. Uh, light boxes show off your images by putting them in a stylish light box. These floating pop ups contain a large version of an image, form, or other item. This puts them up front on the screen. So to start with, we're going to look at images. And, and initially, you have got to set up your the way you want the light box to look. If you look in Site Properties and Light Box, you will see all the adjustments that you can make. Uh, you can change all the, the, the way that uh, the border type is, the caption color, the font on the caption, and background settings, and the opulency of it. You can preview what you've done, and there, that's what uh, I've changed, red with the blue text. When you're happy with that, another thing to look for, of the change, is under the graphics. And at the bottom here is the hyperlinks pictures. If, for instance, you bring in a large picture, 1200 by 800, and you make the picture smaller, as, so it acts as a thumbnail, then you open it in Lightbox. This setting will set the maximum size that the large pitch will come out out because you don't want it coming out at the, the large size especially if people are looking on a fairly small screen default is 800 by 600 now we're going to import pictures There, right click on it, hyperlink, picture, light box, and then here you have light box option where you can put the caption. And at the top, you got the name. Uh, if you want to have the the pictures in a slideshow, then you you can put a name uh, on with, on all the pictures that you want to associate with the slideshow. So if we put um, houses, okay, okay, out there. Choose another picture. Right click, hyperlink, picture, light box. Now we go to the light box options and we can choose there the same slideshow name, and then OK and OK out. So that's those two pictures. Now if we preview that in Safari there's this one and you've got the controls either side of the light box so you can go to the next picture or you've got a slideshow start button in the right hand bottom corner and that will keep on going and you can see a hold button there click that 
it holds it and then you can close it so that's that's the uh, pictures also in this uh, tutorial I'll show you a quick one for doing um, a contact form I've pre-done them so what you need is I've got a, a button here to act as the as the hyperlink and I've also got contact page and thank you page here so what I've done is go back to the home page scroll in so what I've got here is contact button right click on the contact button hyperlink site page and choose the contact page open in light box we won't do anything with the light box option option okay now on this contact form here on the form details I've selected that the um, redirect goes back to the thank you page here so when I preview this in Safari click contact light box with the form comes up and click submit and with the serif using capture it goes to the capture page where put in the word or capture click submit and when you click submit I've taken the redirect to the thank you page and now they can just click off like that that's the end of the, the form now another thing you can do you can hyperlink to a smart object all we want is if we put say blog you can hyperlink smart object clicked where it says none click that the smart objects that can be used in lightbox are visible if I click blog select there's blog there come up in lightbox right so if we preview that in Safari click blog and the blog comes up so you'll have to try and see what uh, See what else you can get to work in Lightbox. Okay, that's all for now, I think. And I'll do another tutorial uh, another time. Thanks very much. Goodbye.